Right now we're just putting the door frame in the opening. Because we have aluminum jams, we're gonna to have to pre-drill the holes first. We're then gonna take a self-tapper and I'm tacking the frame into place. Before I do the other jam, I wanna verify that this jam is plumb and level. Now that we have the frame tacked in where we like it, both jams are plumb. Now I'm gonna start leveling off the sill. You wanna place shims at least every other screw hole throughout the sill. Now keep in mind this is an ADA sill. So there's only about two and a half inches in the middle where shims will actually rest on. The edges is where your flooring will come in, which will also act as a shim. When shimming right now, the sill could wobble back and forth. So what I like to do is just put some shims off underneath the side of it just to keep it a little bit level while people are walking over it until your curbing or your siding is completed. After we've shimmed and leveled the sill, we're just verifying that our sill is level. This is a crucial part of the door install. If the sill is not level, the doors could drag on the bottom of the sill after you hang the doors. After the sill is leveled off, we're gonna to proceed to the jams. I've already installed a few anchor screws into the jam. I'm just going to make sure my jam is level and plumb. Behind each anchor hole on the jam, we're gonna install shims. After the shims are placed, we're gonna tighten the anchor holes. Be sure not to over tighten as this will cause the jam to bow. After the jam is shimmed and the screws are all tightened, I'm going to verify that I did not tighten the screws too much where it would have caused the jam to move or bow. Now that the sill and the jams are level and plumb, we're going to proceed to the header. The holes that come in the header are pre-drilled from the factory. However, I'm pre-drilling the aluminum header for my self-tapping screws. We're gonna start with a two-foot level. We're gonna start at one end of the header and shim and screw the screws in as we work our way down the line. However, you wanna make sure you do not over-tighten as this can pinch the header and will not allow the rollers to operate smoothly. After we tighten the screws, we're gonna verify that we are still level. We're gonna repeat this process the entire length of the header. Keep in mind when leveling the header, the max deflection is 3 16 of an inch. Right now our header is showing that we are completely level. All right, I think we can hang.